What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Pipsicle, and this is just a video for people who are downloading MetaTrader 4. It's in the top right-hand corner of my phone right here. When you go to your app store, um, it will ask you for MetaTrader 4 or 5, download 4. And what you're going to do, if you have an iPhone and it looks like this, touch New Account at the top, start without registration, and it will just automatically, boom, create you an account, all right? And this is gonna pop up. I know that you're new and you're like, I don't know what the heck any of this means. Don't worry, this video is not gonna be long though. It's gonna be pretty short because I want you to do what I was told to do. And the best advice I got when I downloaded this, the person uh, told me, figure it out. <laughs> and so that's what I'm gonna leave you guys to do shortly, but uh, I'll go through a little bit of it. These are some pairs here that automatically pop up, all right? And if you want to add more pairs, you're going to hit that plus. You can hit 4X, and you can add all these other little pairs. Now, when you have a real account, okay, you will be able to add, it won't just say 4X. It'll have stocks. It'll have cryptos. It'll have a long list of commodities. It'll have all kinds of stuff you can add. But for now, we are being basic because we're in a demo, so it's only going to allow us to add some uh currency pairs. Now, uh, yours might have popped up like this, right? That's simple. I just click advance because that's going to show me the spread and everything else that I want to see. Now, um, in the bottom right-hand corner, it says settings. You can go ahead and click on that, right? And again, that's going to take you back to this first page. Next to that is history. This is showing me that we have a deposit of $100,000, a little unrealistically excessive, but hey, this is the demo, okay? So uh, that's that part. We're going to go here to trade that, uh, the middle. It's a little arrow in the bottom. And this is telling me my balance, my margin, my free margin, how much I have in there to play with. Okay. And then we're going to click chart. Now your chart is not, oops, sorry. Your chart's not going to look like this. Mine is custom colors and some EMAs going on here. It's going to be probably standard white with the red and green bars. And again, that's part of this whole process is if you want different colors, you're going to have to learn how to use this app. Okay. Um, other than that, we have quotes here and that takes us back to our screen. I'm going to click chart. And up here on the top left corner, you see H4. That stands for your, those are your time frames. That stands for hour four, right? So four hour. So I'm clicking on that and all my time frames pop up. M1 is minute one, M5, minute five, minute 15, minute 30, right? So, so on and so forth. Uh, we have one hour, four hour, one day, one week, and a month time frame. And all you have to do is touch that and click on whatever one you want. And as you can see, I'm looking at the monthly, I'm looking at the 15, I'm looking at the four, all right? And it's USD JPY, that's showing in the top right-hand corner. Um, and if you click the plus sign, that's just gonna give this for you to move around. So if you wanna draw lines and look at it, if you don't want it, click on the plus sign again. In the middle is the F. Right here, as you can see, I have uh, moving averages. If I click main window, right, I can add all of this fun stuff here. Um, if you are a beginner, you're probably not going to know what a lot of these are, but um, they will help you with your trading if you use them. Uh, actually, some people don't use them. I don't prefer to use them, so whatever. Uh, you can hit edit and delete what you have if you accidentally add something that you don't want, okay? Um, other than that, you can click trade, and that will take you right to the trade screen where you can buy or sell. Uh, if you click instant execution, you can do a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, uh, sell stop. Oops, sorry. Um, other than that, you can set your take profit, stop loss, all that fun stuff. All right. So I'm not going to trade. I was just pushing those buttons to show you how to do that. Um, other than that, what I did is I just tapped my screen. I'm on the iPhone. Uh, when I tap my screen, it takes me, it pulls up the screen here. And so let's say I click settings. It's going to take me and I can change my chart. I can add volume separators, as you can see. I can change the colors on my chart, all right? So you guys just pl first play with the app. When you first get started, don't freak out. Don't get overwhelmed when you see this crap and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what any of this crap means. I'm overwhelmed, I can't do this. You can absolutely do this. I have videos for beginners, so thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. First of all, these videos are for you. If you need something, just let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to respond. And, and again, don't get overwhelmed. Have fun with this. Just play for it. Play with it. Take a day or two. Mess with it. Change some colors. Make it look pretty. 
and then we can get you started. All right. Good luck and happy trading. It's your girl Pipsicle. Check me out on Instagram, the Snap, the Facebook. And uh, yeah.